Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be talking about the latest Ubuntu Touch release, which is OTA 8. And there's not too much that's new in this version, it's been mostly changes to the browser, you know, little, little things here and there. You know, for example, fix failure to load initial page of some web apps. A lot of the updates they've worked on are things behind the scenes again and so you can find out more on their blog though if you're curious which i will leave in the description below so moving on to the ubuntu touch side of things here i'm actually going to first show you the dark theme here this is what the dark theme looks like so it's pretty much very dark and black here, or very dark and white. This has been available a while back, but it was just recently that I've actually shown you how the dark theme looks like. But anyways, um, there's been a couple new apps. There's been quite a few apps actually. I'm only going to highlight a few of them, but one of them is the soundboard, which is pretty simple, but some of you may find it neat. And so it's just playing different sounds like an air horn, for example. If you go to game, it'll play the Mario 1-Up. Things like that. Again, nothing fancy, but some of you may find it entertaining. And another simple but probably pretty useful app is a stopwatch. And this stopwatch was available on you know for an earlier version of ubuntu touch but it looks like someone had recompiled the code for ubuntu touch 1604. again very simple app you can do laps here you can stop reset or clear You can switch to a countdown as well, so that's pretty neat. For those that may find some use for that. But all right, moving on to a couple of games, one of which is this Tetris game. It is, as the name suggests, very similar to Tetris. I was never really a big fan of Tetris. But for those of you that are, this game may entertain you. I'm going to lose on purpose now. Another game that was recompiled, or another app that was recompiled, is this Pathwind game, which is kind of interesting. You're supposed to... supposed to navigate this terrain and hover over objects and don't smash into them or else you lose and you gotta just see as far as you can get it's kind of interesting how you gotta stay afloat there you kind of have to know how to tap you gotta like somewhat hold it. I did notice a bug though that if I turn this over and then turn it back, I'll stay like stuck in outer space or somewhere. Again, it's a really neat game, but it has this one interesting bug. It has good music though. The last app we're going to look at here is the Teleport app. This Teleport app is actually a newer version, or I think um, Telegram is using like newer technology that is not available on this original Telegram app. That's why there was a need to kind of sort of rebuild Teleport, it seems. And 
I mean, I haven't really tested it out too much. I would really encourage anyone to kind of test both and compare the two. But one thing I've noticed is more of a visual uh, difference is that like the coloring or something or the interface looks a light, slightly tweaked. For some reason, on the teleport app, the text is slightly smaller. But this is the UV port super group, which I encourage the newbies to join. They have general questions. Otherwise, this is a overall pretty quiet release. Other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.